They say the next great war won't be fought just with bombs or bullets. It'll be fought with speed. And now, America may finally have a weapon fast enough to change the game. A new missile, one that could end the hypersonics race, is emerging from the shadows. It's called the Angry Tortoise, and it might be the United States' only hope for catching up with China and Russia in the race for next-generation hypersonic power. This could be America's first true hypersonic missile, a weapon with a unique liquid engine, one that's accurate, maneuverable, and fast enough to outrun anything our adversaries can throw at us. The U.S. has been trailing behind in the global hypersonics arms race. Both China and Russia reportedly have multiple operational hypersonic weapons already in service, according to a recent congressional report. Some of these systems might even carry nuclear warheads. For years, it seemed like America had no real answer, but that may finally be about to change. At a military conference just last month, the Air Force Research Laboratory, the AFRL, unveiled something unexpected, a new, lower-cost hypersonic missile project known as the Angry Tortoise. The first test launch is scheduled for this December. According to Nils Sedano, a technical advisor for the AFRL, the project's name is a playful jab at the Air Force's own struggles to keep up in the international hypersonics race. He reportedly told Aviation Week that the tortoise might finally catch up. So what makes this weapon so different? Let's take a step back. Hypersonic weapons are defined as vehicles or missiles that can travel at Mach 5 or faster. That's five times the speed of sound. At those speeds, distance becomes meaningless. A missile traveling that fast could cross a thousand miles in just 10 minutes. They're not just incredibly fast, they're also hard to detect, difficult to intercept, and potentially devastating. China's growing hypersonic arsenal, for example, has already raised serious alarm in Washington. Reports suggest that some of Beijing's hypersonic missiles could destroy as many as 10 U.S. aircraft carriers within the first 20 minutes of a conflict in the South China Sea. If that claim is even partly true, it represents a major strategic challenge for American forces in the Pacific. For now, no true hypersonic weapon has been used in combat. Russia's President Vladimir Putin has claimed that the country's Kinjal missile, deployed in Ukraine, can maneuver at speeds above Mach 5, but many experts believe that's an exaggeration. There's an important distinction here. Some weapons are technically hypersonic simply because they travel faster than Mach 5, but true hypersonics can also maneuver freely at those speeds, changing direction mid-flight in meaningful ways, not just minor course corrections. And by that definition, the Kinjal doesn't really qualify. Nothing more than an air-launched ballistic missile, Jeffrey Lewis, PhD of the James Martin Center for Nonproliferation Studies in Monterey, California, told Popular Mechanics in 2023. It's only hypersonic in the sense that pretty much all ballistic missiles are hypersonic. By contrast, America's Angry Tortoise aims to meet the true definition of a hypersonic weapon, and it's doing it with the help of a revolutionary new engine. That engine is called Draper, designed by a Colorado-based aerospace company called Ursa Major. It's a 4,000-pound thrust liquid-fueled engine that combines the best features of both solid and liquid propulsion systems. This is a big deal. Liquid-fueled engines are generally more maneuverable. They can throttle up or down or even restart in mid-flight. That flexibility makes them much harder to intercept. But traditional liquid fuels are highly corrosive, unstable, and can't be stored long term, a major logistical headache for the military. Ursa Major's new Draper engine solves that. It uses a propellant mix of hydrogen peroxide and kerosene, a blend that's far less volatile. It can be stored safely at room temperature for long periods, yet still delivers the raw power and responsiveness needed for hypersonic flight. This means missiles like the Angry Tortoise could be kept ready to launch at a moment's notice, something that used to be nearly impossible for liquid systems. And there's another breakthrough. 
Because Draper is a liquid system, it can be reignited multiple times. Solid-fueled engines, once ignited, can't be stopped. They burn until they're empty. That's a major limitation for most missile designs. Draper's reignition capability opens the door for reusable test vehicles and potentially even multiple-phase hypersonic systems that can maneuver, re-enter, or adjust flight paths mid-mission. Draper's design isn't starting from scratch, either. It's built on the foundation of another Ursa Major engine known as Hadley, which previously achieved sustained hypersonic speeds. Like Hadley, the new Draper engine is made primarily using 3D printing. Roughly 60% of its parts are printed. This makes it significantly cheaper and faster to produce than traditional rocket engines, which require months of machining and assembly. It's a smart move, reducing cost and development time, both of which have crippled past U.S. hypersonic projects. And that history hasn't been pretty. In recent years, several American hypersonic programs have faced major setbacks. The Air Force's Air-Launched Rapid Response Weapon, or ARRW, developed by Lockheed Martin, failed more than half of its early test launches and was eventually put on hold. Another program, the Hypersonic Air-Launched Offensive Anti-Surface Weapon, also from Lockheed, was supposed to become America's next advanced anti-ship missile. But it never got the funding it needed and was ultimately cut due to budget constraints. The Angry Tortoise aims to break that cycle. It's not just another prototype. It's a technological demonstration built to prove that hypersonic systems can be developed faster, cheaper, and smarter. And the big first test for Angry Tortoise is set for December at the U.S. Army's White Sands Missile Range in New Mexico. That's the same historic site where America tested its first atomic bomb back in 1945. But this time, the focus will be on speed, precision, and engineering. During this initial test, the missile isn't expected to reach full hypersonic speeds. It'll likely max out around Mach 2. That's about 1,535 miles per hour, or twice the speed of sound. The limitation isn't with the missile, but with the range itself. White Sands is simply not large enough to handle the flight path of a full hypersonic test. At Mach 5 and beyond, the missile would leave the range boundaries in seconds. That's why Ursa Major already has plans for a longer range test over the Pacific Ocean in 2026. According to the War Zone, that test will allow Angry Tortoise to stretch its wings and finally show what it's really capable of. For now, it's important to understand what Angry Tortoise actually is and what it's not. It's not yet a fully operational weapon. It's a demonstration, a scientific and technological project designed to push the limits of what's possible. But if it works, it could completely reshape America's hypersonic strategy. In just three years, the Draper engine has evolved from a concept on paper into a test-ready system. That kind of rapid turnaround is virtually unheard of in military aerospace development. If the upcoming test is successful, it could signal a new era for how the U.S. approaches advanced weapon design, one built on innovation, efficiency, and adaptability. The question is, will it deliver? The United States has a long list of hypersonic programs that started with promise and ended in disappointment. For every success story, there has been a cancellation, a delay, or a budget cut. So all eyes are now on this one small missile, the so-called Angry Tortoise, to see if it can finally give America the edge it's been missing. If it performs as expected, it could become the foundation for a whole new class of hypersonic weapons, ones that are affordable, reliable, and built for the realities of modern warfare. Or it might just join the graveyard of failed hypersonic dreams. Either way, this test marks a turning point. For the first time in years, there's genuine momentum, a sense that the U.S. might not just be reacting to China and Russia, but finally innovating its way back to the front of the race. When we talk about hypersonic technology, it's not just about who can go faster. It's about who can control that speed. 
who can design a weapon that's not only blindingly fast, but also intelligent, maneuverable, and precise. That's the holy grail of modern missile technology. And that's exactly what the angry tortoise represents. A cautious, calculated step forward. It's slower than a hare, but it might just win the race. Because in the world of hypersonics, every fraction of a second counts. And right now, America is racing against time.